Talk UK Pro Bs. Delighted to be joined by the first time a fellow North Londoner. Mickey Phil, how are you doing? Um, um, it's a pleasure to, to be on your, your channel. I'm doing very well, thank you. Yeah. Um, Noel from uh, Club Club KO um, put us in touch with you, and um, that's one of the places that you know we've been frequently in the past. You know, Club KO. Yeah, so we, we, we've had some good boxers down there. James DeGale, Jimmy Max down there. We've had some some champions coming out of there, and that's my home. Mm. So I mean, um, look, I'm going to cut straight to the chase. Uh, there's a the video that went viral with John Fury um, only the other night, and uh, he's not a happy man. He wants to do it. He wants to take it to the streets. Well, that's what he keeps saying: take the street. But originally, uh, my call out was in the boxing ring with Queensbury Rules. Yeah. Um, first of all, his shout out was, you know what, we'll do it gypsy style. Then he's calmed down a bit and realised it's for charity, NHS, good cause. So he, um, he humbled himself and come down to that and the fight was going ahead. Um, and then all of a sudden he, he went quiet and he's come out raging like a raging bull, which I don't understand his mentality. I know he doesn't want to fight me. He doesn't have the balls to fight me. Um, and he's trying to get out of it, basically. That's my view on it and everyone's view. I mean, everyone's he's lost his bottle. He's got no balls. He's this, he's that, you know. The whole world, or the, everyone out there knows what he's all about, you know. This big bad John Fury, is he bad? I don't think so. Honestly, I think, personally, I think he's got no balls, yeah. No balls, what? He don't want to wear a pair of shorts in the ring. Put your leotard on. Put a cover on. Do what you want, mate, you know. You're so cool saying you're going to fight Mike Tyson. That fight will never happen. You're trying to steer away from me, yeah, because you can't handle me in the ring, Okay. You said it yourself. You don't wear shorts. You don't want to do it in a ring. Okay? What you can do? What do you think Mike Tyson's going to do? A pair of shorts in the ring. Hey, eh? you're not even going to meet Ty Mike Tyson. You're not allowed out of the UK, and he's not allowed in the UK. Okay? So that's a fact. So don't try and get out of this. Yeah? You're you, you're hiding. You're scared. You are a ba, 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 fucking chicken. I said to him. Yeah? Yeah? Come out. Yeah? All that abuse you give me. That's what kids do. Come out like a man and fight me. If you've got the balls, mate. You're ducking me. Everyone knows you're ducking me. Can you live with the ducking? Can you? We've got a seminar coming up. Apparently, friends have told me 20 seminars booked to tell the people about your life. What happens when that, that question arises? What happens with Mick Theo? Can you live with that? Because that's what you've got to suffer in the rest of your life and live with it. You can't have it with me because you've got no balls. Well, I, I, I think... Sorry to interrupt you. I had to get in, you know. I'm frustrated. I want to fight on. Right. It seems like this whole thing has reached its peak because, I mean, John Fury went on a, a, a mad tirade yesterday and obviously yourself as well. I mean... I'm not going mad like him. I'm cool. You see me raging? I'm just trying to get my positive words over to him. Yeah? That's what I'm doing. I'm a gentleman. He can rage. He can do what he wants. I thought he was going to have a heart attack to be honest with the way he was going on. I don't think he, he can handle the training. I don't think he can handle me in the ring. Forget the training, you know. He couldn't handle me in the ring. He keeps wanting to, to take it outside the ring. That's not what I called that called you out for, John. I called you for a proper boxing match in a ring, a boxing ring with Queensbury rules. You agreed. You was lovely all the way through. Humbled yourself, doing it for a good cause. You're showing basically the world you have a change. You're a changed man from your prison. Going, going in bare knuckle fighting and gouging someone's eye out. You're changing your man. You're showing society what you have become, a lovely man. All of a sudden, you can't handle that. You've come out your, uh, of, your, of your shell again. You jumped. Them words you used on the internet was disgusting in anyone's uh, eyes, yeah? What do you think you are? You're just a mouthy, mouthy, no balls man. That's all you are, mate. And the rest of the, your fans out there, I'm telling them that you ain't got it, mate. You ain't got the balls to face Mickey Theo, okay? Okay? And I will knock you out in the ring. That's my prediction. Okay? That's got to come if you get in a ring. Well, um, he mentioned Billy Joe Saunders' house, or he actually gave his address in that video. Is that, has anyone reached out to you about potentially sorting it out? Or is that just like, obviously, you're I just. Sort out. I, I didn't ask for that. You know, that's a fight on the street. Yeah. 
people don't fight in the streets anymore. They've got brains, yeah? That, that doesn't come into this. This is, this is about charity match, about the pandemic, as Spencer Brown puts it, you know, about a good cause. We're doing it all for charity, yeah? This guy has just got off the, off the rails because he can't. he's trying to go off the rails to show the public he's a growler. But all them mouthy people, including you, John, yeah, you're just mouth, mate. You've got no balls. If you've got any balls, show the public that you're going to get it in the ring with me, like Spencer said, in October, yeah, if you've got balls. If you haven't, shut up, okay? Stay out of my face. Stay out of my life. You no good. I don't know what to call you. I'm going to be respectable to you still. You can shut your mouth at me, mate. I won't shut my mouth at you. I won't lower myself to be you, okay? Just that you've got no balls, mate. You're going to have guts. All this bullshit about fighting Mike Tyson. You're trying to get out of fighting me, mate. And that is you, okay? You cannot handle me. You can't do the rounds I can do. That's why you don't in a ring, yeah? I can do the rounds. You can't. Your Spencer wanted four two-minute rounds. What, we puffs or something? White collar? We're going to give the public what it wants. I'll go 12 rounds with you, my friend. And I'm going to knock you out. And he won't be 12 rounds I'll knock you out in. You know, gutless. I don't know what to call you. You're just gutless, mate. You've got no heart. I'm not going to lower myself to you. How do you respond to that comment about um, you're not worth 10 pence or something like that? Um... He can say what he wants. Sticks and stones may break your bones, but words don't hurt you. The old saying, as a real kid, yeah? That's all he's got. He's a mouth. He's got a lovely mouth. Uh, uh, not lovely. I'd say dirty mouth. Vile mouth. You know, he's just showing members of the public, straight goers, basically, or even people out there, what he's all about. He's the vile man, not me. I'm humble. I don't have to get out of my pram. I'll get out of my pram when I'm in the ring with you, and I'll tear you apart. You no good, gutless piece of whatever it is. Yeah? I'm not going to call you a pig or a horse or a cow, like you want to call me, mate. But I just still believe you're a... That's what you are, mate. You're a chicken, like the chickens you've got in your back garden. I can eat them when you're trying to lift them stupid little dumbbells up. Yeah? But if you're a man, mate, come out and fight me. If not, shut up, okay? This is coming from the pig for you. Uh, obviously, you mentioned, uh, he mentioned Tyson Fury, uh, sorry, Mike Tyson. Um, you see Mike Tyson on the past the other day. Um, He's looking ferocious, man. Listen, honestly, since I've called out John Fury, the gutless whatever he is, yeah? Gutless coward. That's, that's a good word for you. Gutless coward. John Fury is a gutless coward, okay? Um, since he's mentioned uh, uh, Mike Tyson, he's trying to get out of the picture fighting me. It's, it's That fight ain't going to happen with him and Mike Tyson, you know? And if he jumped in, in the ring with Mike Tyson, he'd last one or two seconds. Mike Tyson was smashing the bits in the ribs and that he's gone, yeah? Probably what I'll do to him as well, yeah? But it, why don't you just come through me first before, even if you want to get, let's say you've got the match on with Mike Tyson. Come through me first, mate. Prove who you are to me, yeah? And then go for Tyson. Don't try and skip me, yeah? You, you, you're avoiding me, mate. Trying to get out of it, thinking it's a good, good idea. Tell the crowd that. Tell you. What's happened, uh, John, when you get a question? Mickey Theo, why did you take that fight, John? What are you going to say? Because he's a, I don't know what pig you're calling, some northern pig or something, uh, you're calling me. Is that your answer? The coward's answer, my friend. You are a coward, John Fury, I'm, a, I'm afraid to say. Me, I haven't had one white collar fight in my life, yeah? And this is, you can call it midnight crisis, yeah? I want you, mate. And you're going to go on the floor, on the canvas, yeah? With that, mate. Okay? Still being respectable, children, and I respect you, but you're going down, my friend. Yeah, that's my prediction, okay? Your prediction, you want to knock me out, you're going to try and knock me out. Blah, 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 blah. Bullshit. I'm going to knock you out, mate. I'm not going to put your false teeth down your throat like you say to me and abuse me and say what you want of me, yeah? I'm going to take you out, mate, and end your story. So stop running. Be a man, stand up, let's do it for a charity. That's what we're doing it for. Let's move forward. Show the people out there who you really are. You're a gentleman. You can get in the ring with me. With your shorts on, your tracksuit bottoms, I don't care how you come in the ring. Yeah? 
you can wear what uh, John T. Wilder wears if you want. Come out with them big suits, and leave that on, you know, with spikes on it, so you don't get hurt. Okay. Have, I, have I answered your questions? You haven't said that much to me, have you? <laughs> I've done all the talking today. <laughs> Usually I have a chance to say more, but you know, you know what? Um, it, hey, it, I just let, it is I let what it is, isn't it? Any I questions? Just... I've told you the prediction. He's a knockout. He's a gutless piece of knockout to me. That's what he is. Yeah. It's like the Rocky movie, isn't it? Like when Apollo Creed said, you're hiding, you're ducking from your jab, all that, you know? That's what he's doing. He's a, he's a chicken, mate. Yeah? That's all you are. I'm the rooster, mate. I'm the king. You are the chicken. You are the one that's stuck in me. Yeah? All this, I'm not making any more videos and this and that. This is a charity fight, mate. We're going to do videos together, like gentlemen. Let's get this fight on for the crowd. Your crowd, not me, not my fans, your fans. Yeah? You, you, were, going to show me, you were going to show me. You were going to show me your, you know, your whip game. You know that you weren't clout chasing. You were going to show me something. You were going to show me your whip game. You know the cars, whatever. That didn't you know. show you nothing. I thought about yeah. it before. All right, all right. Well, Mickey, I'm, a, I'm listen. I'm a humble man. I'm, 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 I'm a quiet man. I'm in a corner man. You know what I mean? I don't have to show what I've got, what I haven't got. It's not, it's not about this. Yeah, he's telling me what I'm worth. Yeah, I know what, what I've got and what, what I do. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, we'll you've been that. obviously, you know, since this was mooted, like it first came about uh, a month ago. Mm. Uh, how you been ticking over? You've been ticking over in the gym. You've been what you've been doing? You've been ticking over, over running. I don't stop ticking over all my life. That's me. You know, I, 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 it's not about ticking over me. I can see the guns through the um, through, through the screen, mate. I can see the guns loaded up. You want to see the guns? There's the guns. Have a look at the guns. And you know what's got on it? It's got title. Look, title. That's me. What title? I'm in my boxing. I'm a weightlifter, old bodybuilder. Look at the size of me. You know what I mean? I'm ready for Mr. John Fury that's hiding and ducking me. And a little coward. That's what you are. A coward coming out screaming and shouting like you're going to have a heart attack. What's that going to do? That's not doing nothing for me. I laugh at things like that. Yeah? Be a proper man. Get in the ring, put your whatever you want on, put a set of leotards on if you want, and a, a sweatshirt or even a bra. Maybe that suit you. Yeah? But I want you in the ring, mate, with a pair of gloves on, which you cannot do. You're a professional boxer, not me. You. Yeah? You're the pro. I'm not even an amateur. I'm not even a white collar. Not one fight. I'm Mr. Nobody. Like you said, I'm trying to make a bit of fame. I don't need fame. My fame's outside and where I'm sitting in, yeah? That's my fame, my little house, and my little car, whatever I drive, yeah? In fact, I've got a nice tractor outside, nice big 12-foot grass cutter. That, that's my, my pride and joy in this life, cutting the grass. I'm going to do it in a minute. Wow. You can look after your chickens, mate, because you're, you're a chicken as well. Go and look after your, your, your bunch of chickens, you coward. That's what you are, a coward. Read my lips, coward. Oh, sorry, my fucked up face, like you said, my bent nose, yeah, because I can take a punch, mate. I've been in the ring all the time for 25 years, yeah? Proud of it. What, what, are, you what are you benching out of interest? I saw, obviously, the guns. What, what, are, you ben what are you benching? I want my benching. I can, listen, if I want to want a bench and get into my benching, I used to sit bench six, six, 600 pounds, you know? Squat 800 pounds, curl 300 pounds, press beyond the neck 400 pounds, Yeah. I've got millions of people out there can prove it. I've been in the gyms, you know what I mean? And that's that's my old days, you know what I mean? Now I'm just chilling out, light training, um, and uh, just ticking over, you know? I'm not a bodybuilder. I like keeping in shape. I think most guys would like to have a nice body. I think John's ashamed of his body. That's why he doesn't wear these pansy little shorts, like he says, and uh, obviously he doesn't want to take his top off because he's going to look embarrassed. It's going to look like a fat John Scarecrow um, gutless man. All mouth. Pop, 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 pop. That's where you are, mate, your mouth. If you've got any balls, get in a ring with me. If you ain't, shut it, move on. Go for your Tyson fight, you coward. This wow. is not to wind you up, John. This is to get you in a ring because you ain't got it.
I'm making a point to your fans or my fans that you have not got it, yeah? Cool with that, mate. I'm not shouting and having an heart attack telling you. If you don't want to fight, respect, mate. Yeah, look, my heart goes out to you, mate, yeah? Don't give it a fucking mouth. The mouth at your mouth almighty. This is about charity, boxing, helping NHS. That's what we want to do it for. And you're showing your true colours. And then words you use, John, very strong on the internet. Wrong words, mate. Then you're going to find me and look for me and cave my head in and do this and do that. <laughs> silly man, silly man. Remember, people don't talk what they're going to do to someone. They do it. And you're not going to do you. I'll do it on the night. Coward. Yeah, something like that, mate. You pussy. Big, bad pussy. That's what you are. You have a good weekend. Sitting, sitting in with your chickens, mate. Cluck, cluck, clucking away. That's all you are, mate. Remember, John, you're the coward here trying to get out of this fight. Yeah? Want to name Mike Tyson? Mike Tyson will piss all over you, mate. He wouldn't entertain you. That's Mike Tyson, mate. He's still there, mate. He'll take any every weight that's on the planet today, I believe. Great fan of, of Mike Tyson's, always have been. Yeah? He's the best in the world, or in the, ever, ever seen in the world. He's the man. He's got the same name as me, Mike. <laughs> I'm Mike. I'll change the surname to Tyson instead of Theo if you want. Not a problem. You can pretend you to. I'll tell you what, my name's Mike Tyson for a day. You want to fight me? Fight me. Yeah? I'll change it just for you. I'm not going to humili humiliate you. I'll just call you a coward, a little sissy. Sissy, that's what you are. Sissy. Yeah? Can't fight me. I don't want to fight Mike Tyson. You never get a shot with Mike Tyson, mate. Mike Tyson will just blow you away. Yeah? And that's what I'm going to do to you if you ever want to fight me. You coward. That's all you are, mate. Coward. Prove yourself you're not a coward, John. We've got 20 seminars coming up, John. You're going to get humiliated in, in them seminars, John. Can you live with your life? Your name is Tarnished, John. Big, bad John. Offering that David Hay, Lennox Lewis. You offer it. Just the word, I'm the strongest, baddest man on the planet. You're offering people out straight away. And one of your videos said you don't offer people out. You offer everyone out. Anyway, enough of you. Sissy, pussy, whatever you want to call yourself. I'm calling you that anyway. Not what you want to call yourself. I'm calling you chicky, mate. Anyway, um, back to uh, our gentleman in the background. Just want to quickly say um, a big thank you to... You listening, John? I've got I Fancy That online casino sponsoring me. They're all looking forward to this fight, yeah? Casino online, just log into them on I Fancy That, it's called. Uh, Official Watches, another big sponsor of mine, Dino. And then you've got Ability Group, they do a hotel group. So I've got these lovely people sponsoring me. And finally, we've got um, Raymond Davis, good friend of mine, um, big sponsor. And finally, Pace of Cybers, who wants to supply all my food. I eat in there most days, and he said, You know what, Mick, from today, this was like a week or so ago, you ain't paying April, me. He wants me to beat Don Fury, hey? Eh? April 6th, Taste of Cyprus, yeah? Uh, in make... in Chesham, um, yeah, down there. Okay, right, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Big D's in every day, he loves it. Heavy D's, Sorry, right? heavy D, heavy D, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's, he's quite a, a, a funny guy, isn't he? Yeah, he's doing a bit of training. I see, um, he's, he's, got a fight, he's got a fight coming up, yeah. Yeah, he gets got, he, he, D's got balls, and he's not really a fire, is he? He's got more balls than John John Fury. Have you heard of that name, John Fury? That one with no balls. Yeah, maybe he wants a pair of Kanakas under there. Yeah. <laughs> How do you think that goes between Heavy D and Sam Jones? How do you think that goes? Um, to, to be honest, yeah, I'll be honest. I don't know. I've never seen any of them, and I don't know what Sam Jones are. But I know D's training in our gym, uh, KO gym. Um, I don't know what he's about, to be honest, yeah? Um, I can't give an answer because I've never seen any of them. I've, I've never looked them up. But um, I don't know. What's your prediction? Do you know what? I've seen Heavy D fight and he's a he's a big guy. You know what I mean? He's a I big... he's 25 stone at the moment. <laughs> he's a big guy and Sam, Sam is slim. Mm. Sam's a slim guy. And I don't really know too much. I know, obviously, Sam manages boxers. Mm. But I, don't, I haven't seen Sam in the ring, so it's hard, really, to judge. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, look, in aid of good charity, you know. Um, listen, this is all about charity, you know. 
but someone else, big bad John, wants to do it with fists, with knuckles. He wants to cave my head in. That's that's you know what? That's just mouthy talk, you know. I want to do it here. I want to do it in London. There, that's all you are, John. <laughs> Full of poop. Like Spencer said when I said mentioned the weasel and you Jack ducking me, you know, you're just a bag of poop, as he as he put it. Yeah, the kiddie stuff. You know what kids do in school. That's what you are, and you Spencer. You know. Um, but listen, it is what it is. It was going smooth. It was going on. Like when I first spoke, well, Spencer got hold of me. Spencer spoke to a friend of mine, Stuart Livermore, yeah? Mm. And he'll verify that. He's a man. He'll stand up. Spencer rang Stuart and asked him, does this Mickey feel? Can he fight? Has he had a fight? Have you seen him fight? Mm. This is all for John. To tell John, you know, this guy's a rollover. Stuart didn't say that. Stuart said he's a man. He can stand up and he can have a fight. Yeah. Someone in MTK, friends of mine in MTK, Marbella, seen it for their own eyes, what I'd done to a six foot five guy in 20 seconds. The proof is in the pie, in the evidence, yeah? The owner of MTK. I smashed him in the rib and he didn't get up for 15 minutes. That's what you're going to get if you meet me in a ring, you coward. Proof is in the pudding. The main guy from that 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 gym is my pal, yeah. And he he called the, the he called the sparring match on because I was going to fight another guy called Darren Thompson, another pussy coward didn't want to fight me. Yeah, never had fought in my life. Midlife crisis, maybe. You know what I mean? There's always once you want to get something done and do it in style. But um, listen, I know what I can do. Especially smash you up, John. I'm going to knock you out, John. Yeah. I was saving it for the, for the day, for the hype. But you know what? I'll tell you straight, mate. You think you may, you will, you want to try. I will knock you out, John. Yeah. That's that confidence I have in myself. I know what I can do. But you, you've got a big name to live up to, mate. Yes, you have a big name. I'm not shame. I'm telling you, you have a big name. You're big up north, wherever part you're from, Winslow, wherever. Yeah, I hear a lot of people just telling me that you're just a bully up that way, and they want you to lose as well. Your own people, your northern people. Yeah, me, I just look at it as a boxing match, a charity match. You know, I only called you out because you you called out so many people. You think you're bad. You think you're this, but you know what? You said it in your last video after raging. You don't want to wear a pair of shorts and show your fifty-year-old body off. Yeah. No problem. Cover it up. You don't have to show it off. Cover it up. And I'll see you in the, in, in the ring, mate. Yeah? You want to build bells and whistles. Not me. I had this fight organised. The film crew, as I called it, the production company, which they are. I have evidence. I have everything. That fight should have gone on 28th of May in a secluded, secret location. No crowd. Just pay-per-view. And you didn't want it. Because you ain't got the art. The name, you're worried about the name, you're going to lose your, your, your name. But you know what? You're going to lose your name now anyway. Yeah? Your name is garnished. You are a coward. Yeah? Can you live with that for the rest of your life? Forget the cobbles and bare knuckles and all that bullshit you're coming out with. That's a way out of you, mate. You're trying to get out of this. Yeah? We've got gloves, we've got ref, we've got Queensbury rules. Everyone's saying, all your fans are saying, I've bitten more than what I can chew. Yeah, well, let's see. And then your 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 manager coming out with we only, we only we only want to do four two minute rounds. I said, oh really? Well, he's a boxer. He's a pro boxer. We need to give the crowd their money's worth. I'll do twelve rounds. I said, you know what? Let's do it minimum eight rounds, eight three minute rounds. Not that that's going to last that long. But we've got to give the crowd something to go on for their money's worth. Not you can't give a crowd four two minute rounds. Forget it. Not a little event, this is going to be a big event because everyone wants to see me knock you out. My end, my London end, your northern end, they want to see you knock me out. So let's just forget all the bullshit, John. Forget all the crap that's been going on. I haven't been giving it all the mouth. You've been giving it all the mouth, mate. Let's get together, work together. 
try and change your personality, uh, become more of a gentleman towards the crowd and the people. Remember, what you've come from, what you portray yourself to do something good in, in life and society goes a long way. Do the right thing, John. Step in the ring, humble your mouth, let's get it on. So if you fancy, John, which I know you don't, you're running. First of all, it was 250 grand um, to fight me in the back garden. You, number one, you're getting away from it. And now, jumping up like a yo-yo, a dump, I don't know, a kid, yeah, run, run in your mouth about, thinking of you're going to have a stroke, how you're talking. Number two, trying to get out of the game. So there's one point trying to get out. Yesterday was number two trying to get out. And three, you're trying to switch it to Mike Tyson. He's someone that's worth fighting for. That fight ain't happening. You know that. There's three little things you try to move to get out of this fight. The whole boxing world knows what's happening. Everyone's texting me. You, you, you've done it. You don't want to fight you. He's out. He's a coward. He's a sissy. He's, he hasn't got no balls. I've heard it all, you know? Forget Mike Tyson's fight. Ain't happening. You can't go and he can't come. Forget it. You're talking bollocks. You're trying to just get out of it. So get yourself together. Like I say, this was the man back in the day. Me and the man. See, that's when we was working together. That was the governor. And you know what? I faced the governor. And now you have to face me. If you can. And then you become a man. Not a tarnished man. Not a sissy. Not a coward. So make your mind up, John. Good nights.